Pregnant women or women who have been pregnant. What is the worst slash craziest advice someone has given you about your pregnancy? My entire family was super judgmental slash against breastfeeding for some reason. It was really strange. How long are you going to do that for? My in-laws were fully supportive of breastfeeding. Until my baby reached 6 months old. Then it went from you're doing the best thing for him. To when are you weaning? It doesn't expire. Jeez. You're taking the joy of feeding the baby away from everyone. Said my mother when I was breastfeeding. She came around though and ended up getting judgy about women who choose to formula feed. I am not judgy. BTW. My mill said the same thing. She said I was preventing her son. My husband. From being a dad because I breastfed. Apparently the zillion other things he did as a parent besides feed her didn't make him a dad. What a nut. Don't worry about the swelling and high blood pressure. That's normal. My midwife. Days before being induced due to preeclampsia. Note, preeclampsia is a pregnancy complication characterized by high blood pressure and signs of damage to another organ system. Most often the liver and kidneys. Preeclampsia usually begins after 20 weeks of pregnancy in women whose blood pressure had been normal. Literally a life-threatening condition in some cases. A plus midwifery. It is a life-threatening condition in all cases. Has to be assumed as such to treat ASAP. My very first OB visit. First baby. Handed me a book about month by month pregnancy and said that if I had any questions to just refer to the book. Then I said well what if the baby. She cut me off right there and pointed to the book. And said ah. Oh, yeah. It's in the book. I changed OBs. Edit. Oh wow this comment blew up. Also thank you Reddit for my highest rated one. Edit 2. For those who are asking my question was not in the book. I had questions about the baby being premature. My brother and I were born very premature. And I was going to ask her about it. And my baby ended up being born three and a half months early and I had a lot of complications prior to that. Being high risk is not fun. But he's healthy now. Wow that is complete crap. Imagine if every doctor did that. What an idiot. I'm imagining a psychiatrist giving all his patients a copy of the DSM-5. Doc, I'm having hallucinations and homicidal urges. Ah, oh, check the book. Not me but my sister. She had to have an emergency c-section when she had my niece. Her mother-in-law said she wouldn't be a real woman unless she had a vaginal birth. I was 18 when I had my son and was already terrified. Had to be induced and ended up having to have a c-section because labor just wasn't progressing and his heart rate kept dropping. For the first year and a half of my son's life, my mother told me I wasn't a real mom because I had to have a c-section. I'm so sorry she told you this. I was a c-section baby as well. Honestly recovering from an incision like that is rough and I've heard horror stories about it. You're a real mom. When I found out I was pregnant a nurse friend of mine felt the need to rattle off an endless list of crap that could potentially be wrong with my baby. Another friend of mine. When I started telling people I was pregnant after the 3 months and was accused of telling people too early. Said it doesn't matter when you tell people. You could have a miscarriage at any point during your pregnancy. They both meant well. But really guys. Lol. Shut up. I announced my pregnancy after 3 months too. Friend of mine told me it was too early and what happens if you miscarry? I told her I miscarried before and if it happens then it happens. I just have to tell everyone. She said it would sound like I was backtracking. Oh okay lol. She said if it were up to her, she wouldn't tell anyone at all until she had the baby. She got pregnant shortly after and sadly miscarried at 11 weeks. At which point she decided to publicly announce her pregnancy and miscarriage. I was sad for her but I found it hypocritical. She said it would sound like I was backtracking. Yeah, lady, keep your story straight. When I found out I was pregnant a fourth time, three losses in a row, I heard so many from strangers mine isn't necessarily advice but more open mouth insert foot are you sure this one is going to work? I was also told if I was on my cell phone or around my modem slash router it would cause brain damage to my unborn child. She's four. Perfectly healthy, no brain damage and let's just say it took a lot of medical attention to get her to full term. My mill. Don't eat spicy foods or stand under the moon. Ugh. Edit. As someone pointed out in the comments, it's the full moon, not just the moon in general. This was a decade ago, and my memory sucks. Edit 2. 
The spicy thing comes from the superstition that spicy foods will give your kid a birthmark. That I should drink her crappy MLM aloe vera juice every day. It's not advisable for pregnant women. Edit. Turns out it was indeed herbal life. You are eating for two. Um. No. You only need about an extra 1-300 calories during pregnancy. Are there going to be intense cravings and times where you indulge on those brownies or chips? Sure. Just don't go overboard and use pregnancy as an excuse to eat an entire batch of brownies in one sitting. My midwife said, you're eating for two, but not two adults. Are you suggesting that a fetus of six weeks isn't craving two entire plates of loaded chili cheese fries? You need more calories while breastfeeding than you do while pregnant, which surprised me. I've had an anti-vaxxer warn me off vaccines, the day after I had two of them because I'll give the baby autism. Jokes on her, my husband and I are Aspies, and from families of Aspies, so baby is probably gonna join the autism club anyway. They act like autism is worse than potential death, or other things that can seriously freak up their life. My gran told me that every day I was pregnant, I needed to. 1. Duke Eagles. So far so good. No argument there. 2. Add one cup of black coffee. Wait. What? 3. Add one glass of red wine. Uh, no thanks. 4. Walk at least 4 miles. Because the doctor wouldn't deliver the baby if I put on more than 25 pounds. Oh man. Edit. Should have clarified but was exhausted when I wrote this. Caffeine and alcohol are both fine in moderation when pregnant. But either of those specific methods would have been incredibly painful for any pregnant gal experiencing the fun. Super common side effect of acid reflux slash heartburn like I did. The two together would have been torturous. Edit part there. I'm not here to debate this. My very healthy child is now 11 years old and I'm not having any more kids. If you're commenting to change my mind, you're barking up the wrong tree. So, does the baby just live inside you forever? Then, if you gain 25 plus pounds? My wife is having our third baby. She says the worst advice is to lie on your back to give birth. I'd heard this and was totally ready and willing to walk around during labor, squat, use a birthing chair, and all that stuff, and I had birth attendants who were ready and willing to let me do so. However when I was actually in labor, I couldn't tolerate being in any position other than flat on my back. I felt pretty stupid afterwards, but hey it got the kid out. I think the advice should be to find the position most comfortable to you. Well I am the husband slash father but a doctor told my 38 or 39 week pregnant wife that her condition was no excuse to not keep me sexually satisfied. Not even sure why it was brought up. She was just getting a regular checkup. I wasn't even there. Doc busts out with this. Not her regular doctor. Her regular doctor was also off pregnant. She was not impressed to say the least. So there's the advice. Being pregnant is no reason to not please your so. I had a co-worker tell me that eating peanut butter, I was eating an apple with peanut butter on my lunch break, would give my baby cancer. I already thought she was the world's greatest idiot so that nugget of wisdom was just confirmation. I was told that heartburn during the pregnancy meant that the child had a lot of head hair, had a crap load of heartburn, kid barely had hair, haha <laughs> I never had heartburn and my son was like a werewolf at birth. Seriously, back hair. Currently pregnant, and currently dealing with my mother who became an anti-vaxxer 13 years ago. I had no idea, just found out recently when I mentioned I got my TDAP and flu shot, and I asked if everyone in the family was caught up because the baby is due next month, and flu season is right around the corner. She called me a freaking idiot for putting rotting DNA in my body while pregnant. She refuses to get a flu shot, so I refuse to let her see her first grandchild. Not taking chances with my kid's life because you can't be bothered to do legitimate research or listen to me when I try and explain it to her. To not use vaccinations. You I want my child to die from completely preventable diseases. To be frank, they can't get autism if they die of mumps. Oh. I was told that I need to shave down there or the baby will get carpet burn. Like. What? I feel like shaving down there will give the baby stubble burn. Taking a bath can cause a miscarriage. To be fair, it was from my husband's incredibly sweet grandmother who meant well. 
She was 92 years old at the time and hadn't been pregnant in a very, very long time. She also had a good number of miscarriages. My father-in-law and his sister are 15 years apart in age, so I think she was coming from a different place than most. To be fair, you are not supposed to sit in very hot water, a regular bath. Okay, the concern with baths during pregnancy is your body temperature raising and not having the ability to decrease. Most doctors won't advise you against baths, but will 110% advise against saunas and hot tubs because the temperature doesn't have the ability to dissipate with duration. I have heard of other people being advised not to take baths above a certain temperature. But personally, my doctor didn't mention anything, though I avoided them for a while because of the information I read. But I gave in when the aches and swelling got to be too much. Current 22 weeks are long, and my anatomy scan was perfect so safe to say my little duck didn't cook to death. One person told me I would never be able to fit a baby out of my body because I wasn't big enough down there and to just get a c-section. Not a doctor. A random person who had literally never seen down there. No. I'm not going to get major surgery. Just because you don't think I'm large enough. I've had two successful vaginal births. My mom is a petite woman. And she naturally gave birth to my brother who was really close to 10 pounds. They became quite the attraction in the hospital as people saw the monster baby, checked the room number, then saw my mom and wondered how the hell he got out of her. Pretty sure my mother-in-law had the same thing happen. My husband was a 10 pound baby with the widest shoulders on record at his hospital. Rat bastard neglected to tell me this until we were married. Thank you for watching. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon through the link in the description. If the video slapped, be sure to hit that thumbs up, and subscribe for videos every single day. See you tomorrow.